What's up guys, welcome back to ER Venom and today I'm going to discuss a CGC purchase that I made uh, about last week and I'm just getting around to talk about it now because I've been very busy with work. Okay, so the book I want to talk about today is Transformers number 11. It's the uh, first appearance of Jetfire. Let's take it out here. Oops, a lot of glare there, but... And uh, this book, as you can see, is a CGC 9.4 um, in the newsstand. So a 9.4 is a near mint book, okay? 9.2 is near mint minus, and then, you know, 9.6 and 9.8, you know, those are near mint, near mint plus, 10 is gem mint. Um, all right, so a little bit about this book. It is a newsstand edition, which is... Um, you know, in about 1985, they were just probably about evenly printed with direct edition copies. Uh, the thing about the newsstands, though, is that they were treated completely different. Um, direct edition copies were sent straight to comic book stores with the collector in mind. And uh, they were, you know, on shelves and, you know, they were bagged and boarded most of the time uh, right away after they were purchased and preserved as a collector's item. Newsstand editions, they were everywhere. Like, literally a newsstand was a little shack outside on the corner of New York City Street uh, selling candy, sodas, cigarettes, newspapers, and magazines. And uh, these were out literally out in the elements. So when it rained, it snowed, the wind, you know, all types of stuff where uh, these books were exposed to. Um, so... And the high grade is where newsstands are more valuable. It used to be only 9.8s commanded a premium. And I believe as more and more information has been being collected, we're appreciating the 9.6s and even the 9.4s. Um, so when I seen this up for auction, I, uh, I went for it. I got it at a really good deal. And I'm seeing a uh, direct edition going for, I think, 70 plus shipping plus tax. So... Um, I got I got this for I think thirty nine plus shipping plus tax. So after all said and done, probably around like sixty dollars shipped to my house. So um, very happy with this purchase. Um, I like Jetfire really since the Netflix series. I I wasn't such a huge fan of him and the uh, you know G one Transformers. Uh, don't really remember him all that much, um, but. He he left in a pretty good impression during the uh, the new Netflix Transformer series. I highly recommend you guys watch it for all the Transformer heads. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Um, a lot of people were upset that the original voice actors for Megatron and Optimus Prime didn't voice those characters over, but I say look past that and enjoy it. You know for what it is, a really awesome, say modern take on you know my favorite and maybe your favorite uh, cartoons as a kid as well. All right, so let me talk uh, numbers here. So this is a newsstand, but CGC doesn't differentiate between newsstand and direct editions yet. From what I heard that they are in the future. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be retroactively done, but uh, we'll see. So there's 26 9.4s. So 26 in this grade, blue label, um regular american edition right so there's 26 i think there's 54 9.6s and 72 9.8s so there's not a lot of these graded i would say i would say there's probably double that maybe even more out there ungraded um it just hasn't been uh a very you know expensive you know too much of a valuable book for people to send in yet um, but that has been changing the prices on these have been steadily going up on transformer keys uh issue one as you know goes i think for like two thousand in a 9.8 or around there i don't see it going under a thousand um you know same thing with the gi joe comics they have also shot up and as they should because gi joe and transformers as a kid was like 
you know, what I looked forward to, uh, I think every day after school, right? It was, you know, it was my favorite thing to watch, definitely by far. Um, so if you are a big Jetfire fan, um, uh, there's a couple of things. If you want to go the comic book route, I suggest, if you can, right, it'd probably be pretty pricey, but if you want to get the rarest version of this book, I would go for the Canadian newsstand or the Canadian uh, price variant, right? There's only one CGC 9.8, one CGC 9.6, and one CGC 9.4, as opposed to 26 of, uh, you know, the regular version. Uh, but again, the 26 is probably mostly directs and maybe a handful of uh, newsstand editions would be my guess right I, I don't know what the ratio is like I said they were probably evenly printed around 85 I think after 88 is when newsstand started to become more rare but again the key in this guys is high grade another option that I recommend for um, Jetfire if you're a really big fan is his action figure it's the shattered glass figure by Hasbro now um i really recommend this guy he is really awesome um if you uh watch unboxings of his you know he's been basically you know uh has been regarded as masterpiece type of quality if if it had some you know die cast metal in it it would have been considered you know basically a, a masterpiece and uh Massive pieces are basically like top of the line transformers. They cost a couple of more dollars, but uh, for the uh, for the avid collector, I think it's a must to have certain ones. I had a Megatron one, extremely difficult to transform, and it was uh, ended up getting broken. And we still have bits and pieces of him lying around because uh, he's that cool, right? Um, another cool thing about this book is that it comes with a retailer exclusive comic. Okay, so um, I don't know how many of these were produced. Uh, I know that there was a limit two per customer from Hasbro on pre-order, and uh, they sold that quickly. And they were going they, on pre-order was going for like ninety-one dollars. These are going for like two hundred to and and up, right? Um, and uh, you know, so uh, I, I believe in the collectability of the comic that comes with it because. If they do a reissue on this, I do not see them doing that comic over, although I could be wrong, and, and they do that. And uh, and then if that case, uh, I'll be ready and I'll get a couple more <laughs> because uh, I paid like double around like 200 for this ship. But uh, even at that price, I'm extremely happy with this guy. Uh, I, I suggest checking out, you know, real thorough unboxing videos on this guy and uh, just to see how awesome he is to make a, you know, your determination if you want to add this guy to your collection but that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video and uh today's character spotlight was jetfire and uh hope uh you know maybe you picked something up and uh you learned something about jetfire or maybe there's something that i left out and you could leave it in the comments that i didn't know about the character because like i said i just started watching him in the Netflix series, and I thought he was a, a bad dude. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.